Welcome back everybody, Jay Pace here from Providence Property Group, again with my friend Tuan Dong from Duo Tax. And today we're going to ask maybe a little bit more of an involved question, and it's realistically around the differences of depreciation from a commercial perspective versus a residential perspective. So house and land unit versus a commercial property. So we've got Tuan here today, thanks for joining us Tuan. Thank you, thanks Jay for having us on here today again. Um, and uh, I think that's a great question. We, we do do depreciation schedules for homeowners they're looking at buying in houses investing in units or even investing in commercial spaces the biggest difference is in commercial spaces we can claim plant equipment on all type of properties with a commercial that means uh, there's an exemption to the housing integrity bill mentioned last time in that the legislation does not allow for residential property investors to claim on secondhand plant equipment mm -hmm. that is the biggest difference and that means that if you buy a commercial space whether it's a retail space or office space you can claim all the plant equipment regardless Okay. Uh, that's the biggest difference. When it comes to housing, houses and apartments or units, the biggest uh, change differences in depreciation, it comes from the plant and equipment. Of course, in a house, we've got standard uh, plant and equipment, whether it's range hood, cooktop, your carpet, your air conditioning yeah. systems. In a apartment unit, you're going to have additional things like basement ventilation, which is shared strata items. Mm -hmm. You might have lifts, you might have elevators, you might even have gym equipment. Mm -hmm. And that's the biggest separator between houses and apartments. And you'll find that you get higher depreciation out of units uh, when it comes to depreciation on the plant equipment. Okay. Uh, and this is where the houses fall behind a bit. But then, of course, you're offset by different things like there are different benefits to buying in units and houses, as you would know uh, yourself, Jay. And that's the biggest difference. And when it comes to commercial, spaces they can vary strata items also in include uh, and can also depreciate uh, plant and equipment so you do get a, a healthier depreciation out of those and it all of course it all comes down to the size the type of building and also the finishes that these uh, buildings undergo when they're under construction so one of those things you're gonna have to consider but when it comes to in general information I would say that units would generate the most depreciation mm -hmm. um, and, and, and you could appreciate the differences yeah. in investing in each of them yeah, great. Well, Tuan, thank you very much for just giving us a little bit more clarification around the differences between those different product types. Uh, as always, if you do want a professional's opinion, please make sure you reach out to Tuan Dong and his team at Duo Tax.